Hello YouTube makeup lovers. So today I wanted to do a video on some makeup products that I regret purchasing. These are products that I already bought a little bit ago that I've tried and I've used and try to like them, but I just really, really didn't like them. And they're products that I definitely wouldn't recommend. At least they did not work for me. Some of these products I had heard great things about, but on me, it just did not work out. I have some that are from the drugstore, others are from department stores, more high-end. Some I really don't like at all, and others I liked, I just didn't think that they were worth the price. So it's a little bit of everything and a little bit of different products. So I really hope that this video helps you out in case you're in the hunt for some of these products. You kind of get to know a little bit of my opinion about them. So the first two products I'm going to show you are these Maybelline concealers. This is the Dream Lumi Touch highlighting concealer i have two of these i bought the pink one which is the radiant one and then i bought the ivory one and i just really didn't like these concealers i'm really really picky with my concealer to begin with but these just did not work out and i have not had much luck with drugstore concealers because i finally found one concealer that i liked from the drugstore and then it got discontinued the one that i loved from the drugstore was the covergirl and olay simply ages concealer i really really like this one and now they don't have it anymore so i'm back to where i began i do not have a drugstore concealer that i love and that i would recommend i had heard tons of great things about this dream lumi touch concealer on youtube i heard it worked great i was so excited to try it out it just didn't work for me i think because i think i have very very dark under eye circles so i need a concealer that is a little bit thicker than this one this one is a very thin concealer it's also very brightening which is why it's called a highlighting concealer i think this works better over your concealer just to add a little brightening touch but on its own it just didn't work for me maybe if you do not have as dark under eye circles as i do it might work for you i also wouldn't use it for my face i think it's more for the under eyes i wouldn't use it on my face because i feel like it would just like brighten everything that i want to hide which is not what you want your concealer to do and that's another thing it also settled into my fine lines very very easily like every two seconds I had to like retouch it and make sure that I had blended it all in because it all did go into my little fine lines. Also, sometimes I felt that it even enhanced my under eye circles. So these two just didn't work for me. Let me show you the two colors. This one right up top here is the ivory and then this one is the radiant and neither one of them worked for me. If it worked for you, then that is great. I wish it had worked for me, but it just didn't. Because Another drugstore right. concealer that I tried was the Magic Lumi one from L'Oreal. This one is very similar to this one. It's almost identical to the ivory one. This is the swatch right here on the bottom. See, it looks just like the ivory on the top from Maybelline. They're very similar. It's the same style. It's They all have like the little brush that you click and then the liquid comes out from from there and same thing as the Maybelline. It didn't cover my under eye circles. Another item I regret purchasing was the Lush Print Shaving Cream. I didn't like it at all. I think this is, might even be a men's shaving cream. So I thought that it would be like really, really good for the legs and stuff and it was fine. It wasn't bad, it smelled good. It was just, unnecessary to spend that much money on a shaving cream and i even got the little one just so that i could try it which i'm really happy i did and i'm really happy that i didn't get the big one but it was just like using a lotion it didn't lather it was just kind of like a cream on your legs that you shave it and that's it i didn't really notice my legs feeling super soft after i used it or anything like that so i definitely would not repurchase this i will however reuse the container because i love these little lush containers i also regretted purchasing these mac mineralized rich lipsticks i love the color i actually love the way it felt when i first put them on they don't last at all that is kind of what i don't like about them they didn't last on my lips at all i literally i put it on today and i put it on right now before filming the video and i think it's pretty much almost gone already 
So these lipsticks don't last at all. And what bugs me is that they're more expensive than the MAC ones, than the regular MAC lipsticks. I think the regular MAC, lips, MAC lipsticks are like $14. And I think these were like $21. So I'm sorry. If they're going to be more expensive than the regular MAC lipsticks, then they better be better than the MAC lipsticks. And they're not. So I do not recommend spending the money. The colors now I loved. These are the two colors that I bought. I don't know if you can see it there. One is called Lux Natural and the other one is called Dreaminess and both of them are the same. They are both very soft lipsticks. They go on so nicely. The color is great but at least for me in like 10 minutes the lipstick was gone. So they do not last at all and that is why this is a regret. Another product that I regret buying is this Benefit 10 highlight bronzer set it comes in these little box products this is what it looks like on the inside i'm just kind of over this product already i haven't seen it in a while i'm not sure if this is continued but i'm kind of over the whole box things from benefit mainly this one because it's a bronzer and a blush and i mean i'm sorry a bronzer and a highlight and like for me to get into the bronzer i have to really stick to one side the brushes that i like are pretty big to put on the bronzer so I would definitely mix the two products up together so it kind of forces me to use the brush that came with the product which I usually don't I like to use my own brushes so I'm kind of over it the bronzer is a little shimmery it's a little too shimmery and the highlight I actually liked it was a pretty highlight there you see the two I don't know if you can see the colors so the colors were actually pretty the bronzer maybe a little too shimmery for me but the box is what's kind of annoying me and the fact that I can't get to the product that I want to get to with the brushes that I like. So that's pretty much it. I also had the Bella Bamba blush and I just gave it to my sister because I was kind of sick of that one too. I was just kind of sick of the, the whole box thing. So I don't know if I'm going to go back to buying any of these anymore. I was thinking of getting the Hula bronzer because I heard it was great. But I just got totally discouraged from getting it just because I'm kind of into this like no box thing so maybe I'll get over it but as of right now I am regretting this product in a box from Benefit. Another product that I regret purchasing is the Stila eyeshadow pencil in the color Kitten. This is um, a great base for eyeshadow. It looks like this. I mean I think they're really good bases. That's what the eyeshadow looks like. It's this one right here. I don't know if you can see it. and I love using eyeshadow pencils and this actually worked fine but the eyeshadow in Kitten is so much better than this eyeshadow pencil and I think that you don't even need to spend that much money on this. You can get a great dupe at the drugstore which is the Milani Shadow Eyes in Champagne Toast. I use this eyeshadow pencil under my Stila Eyeshadow Kitten all the time and it works great it is this is the eyeshadow in kitten which i love it is my favorite stila eyeshadow i also love to use the milani one under my eyeshadow from urban decay in the color sin these shadow pencils are really good makeup bases for your powder eyeshadow that is like the way to go for me i love using an eyeshadow pencil under my powder eyeshadow but i don't think that the stila one is worth it i think that the color is not as pretty as the Milani one is. It doesn't look as close to the kitten eyeshadow as the Milani pencil does. And I just don't think it's worth the money, but it is good. I mean, I'm definitely gonna finish using this one, but it's not a product that I'm gonna repurchase again because I prefer to get the one at the drugstore that is so much cheaper. I have Sometimes also really been regretting these Essie nail polishes. I bought like two or three of these. This particular one is Bouncer It's Me these are those very sheer bright colors when i bought this i love the color but then when i put it on i saw that it was so sheer it barely covered and then i found out that these are the ones that you have to put a coat of white over your nail first and then you put the color on i still didn't like it you still have to put so many coats because it's not like this covers a white so fast and easily anyway so then you end up with like three coats of nail polish and i hate putting on three coats of nail polish because it literally you could just peel the nail polish right off so i was really disappointed in these i didn't like the whole white thing first and then the color i just feel like 
if the nail polish looks this beautiful on in the bottle that's what I want it to look like on my nails now I love the Urban Decay 24 7 glide on eyeliner pencils I absolutely love them they are my favorite eyeliners but I don't know what happened with this one this particular color just I do not like the color it looks beautiful on the pencil obviously it's color 1999 but the color payoff is not like the other um 24 7 glide on eyeliners this is this one right here the color payoff on the eye is just not very good like for me to get this color i literally went back and forth back and forth over and over again it is just does not have very good color payoff look that's on one with one line and it's very like it's just not very even you really have to go back and forth back and forth to be able to get this color and the color is beautiful i just don't know if maybe i was unlucky with this pencil and my pencil was like damaged but terrible color payoff on this urban decay 24 7 glide on pencil in the color 1999 here's another product that I love the product but just just this particular color I did not like it is the lipstick from Mac this is the lipstick in myth this is one of those nude colors that you have to be careful for because it will make you look dead it is the color looks kind of normal on the actual lipstick and when you swatch it it actually looks pretty good it doesn't look that bad but when you put it on it's like you look dead let me like show you It is just like so white. I feel like it looks like I'm putting on concealer. I don't know if you can tell, but it's awful. I love nude lipsticks. We have to be very careful when you're buying a nice nude lipstick because you don't want to look like you're dead. I actually have a video of my top 10 favorite nude lipsticks, which I'm going to link down below in case you want to check them out. But definitely be careful. You don't want your nude lipstick to be confused with concealer. And this lipstick, I feel that it is like concealer on your lips. So this MAC Myth, I do not like at all. I also regret buying this Bioderma Eye Gel. I bought this when I was in Spain last April. And I just really haven't liked it at all. It is a very liquidy gel, which... I don't like I'm gonna stick to the eye creams that I have my favorite eye creams are the fresh creme and cyan eye cream and I also like the Bosha restorative eye treatment which I ran out of but I just bought so I don't have that one here to show you but those are the two eye creams that I really really like and I really wanted to try this one just because I fell in love with the Bioderma face cream which is this one right here I really love this face cream and I also love the bioderma you know the cleansing water but I wanted to give this eye cream a shot and I just really didn't like it didn't like it I don't recommend it it is very very thin and liquidy and I just feel that's what it looks like and I just feel like it doesn't do much it just feels like a gel but it disappears right away I don't feel that it moisturizes my under eyes at all I also don't like this Mac um, lip and cheek color it looks like this I don't know if these items are available all the time or if they just come out every once in a while but I just didn't like them I guess I, I think this one for the cheeks it's very drying on my on my lips I mean it's very drying on my lips it's not moisturizing at all I definitely have to put some lip balm under and then I have to put some lip gloss over it and then for the cheeks it's probably a little too thick to be something that I use on my cheeks I don't know it's just something that I didn't like it I couldn't pick a place that I liked it more or the other it was just blah for the lips and blah for me for the cheeks so it's definitely not something that I would buy again I liked the color this is a pretty little pink color I really like the color but I just have to find a way to make it work and last but not least another product that I regret buying is this mascara from L'Oreal it is a power volume black smoke 24 hour mascara I don't really like this mascara I didn't like the wand for starters which looks like this and I just don't think it compares to my L'Oreal voluminous or even the full definition mascara I guess every mascara I buy I kind of compare to those these are my two favorite mascaras ever both from L'Oreal voluminous and I guess this one I just didn't like so I wouldn't recommend it it was a very 
dark mascara that wasn't the problem it was mainly the wand and I just couldn't get it to work on me at all so this is definitely something that I will not be repurchasing. So that is pretty much it. I really hope this video helped you out. This is the second regrets video that I have posted on my channel. So I'm going to make sure to link the first video down below in case you want to check it out. And as always, thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup. Bye!